discretion behind Celtic. There's McAvenny. Walter Goff doing well. There's Stevens. Very confident on the ball. Dangerous moment though. The ball coming across. Goal for Butcher's header. That's the post. There's McAvenny. Celtic are in front. Joy for Frank McAvenny with five minutes on the clock. And the Celtic end goes wild. Peter Grant had the original shot but touched the post. Chris Woods appeared to see that late. Well, what an opening from Celtic. The league champion starting off. Richard Goff clear and smiling high in the air. Butcher's header. Grant with the shot off the post. Back to McAvenny for that deadly finish. And Celtic Ray Wilkins will take the free kick. Goff is in the box once again. So is Butcher. Back to Brown. Blocked by McCarthy. There's McCoy. Deadly finishing by Ali McCoy. Ten minutes gone. Rangers are back on terms. And that was top class striking. McCoy savouring the moment, as are the Rangers fans. But the aerial power of Rangers, Butcher and Goff causing all the problems. This broke to John Brown, a powerful volley, was blocked by McCarthy, rebounded back across the face of the box to Ali McCoy, and that drilled left foot shot left Andrews helpless. And Ali McCoy is continuing his magnificent scoring record against. Given that straight to McCoy. He's away from Aiken, still McCoy. And superb play from Ali McCoy. Now clearly complaining about the tackle by Roy Aiken. Hoisting that towards Richard Goff, who wins it well for Rangers. Tucked away first time by McCarthy. There's Brinkle! Good handling by Andrews. That will do him a lot of good early in the match. A fine save. McAvenny now to Barnes. There's Walker through the middle. Barnes again. This is Paul McStay. The momentum for the moment is gone for Celtic. Chris Morris now joining the attack. Here's Walker. Now Barnes. Barnes charging into the box. Committing the range of defence. And that was super play from Tommy Barnes bringing out that excellent tackle from Terry Butcher but so positive by John Brown coming across deadly from set pieces around the box too far out for the direct shot that's Ian Ferguson Walters taking the ball to the byline looping it back in for the first time shot Ali McCoy frustration Goff and Butcher have gone up. It's lost in field by Stevens. There's Butcher. Back with Wilkins. Absolutely magnificent from Ray Wilkins. Ten minutes to half time. And a goal which Ray Wilkins will never have bettered in an illustrious career. Dean Andrews had not a hope. Terry Butcher, the stunning volley from Wilkins, and Andrews scarcely moved. The fans having the interval to have a break and reflect on what was an incredible first half. Leading Rangers in front, and that's just about what they deserved over the piece. They had an edge, certainly from the time when Ray Wilkins got that second goal. They looked 
to be just a little bit better. Derek White has been introduced to the fray by Celtic for the second half. And the absent player is Tommy Barnes. Well, that involves some reorganisation for Celtic, and I wonder if Barnes was carrying a strain or a knock. It's headed on by Rogan. Here's Durant retrieving it for Rangers. McCoy nods it on an awkward one for Andrews. And the ball is in the net. It's a goal for Rangers. Durant takes the credit. But it's a disaster for Ian Andrews. Well, that coming about in the most surprising fashion as Ian Durant retrieved the ball. It was a very difficult ball played in. It was Ali McCoy who must get the credit. It was his back header. Dipping under the bar, misjudged by Andrews. Brinkle didn't touch him. And McCoy gets the credit. Butcher. by McCarthy here's Chris Moss overshooting mixed day good play by Butcher played in by Durant for Walters superb control and no penalty kick Derek White brings the ball clear the Rangers fans very upset indeed about that and that for my money is a major let off for Celtic to see Mark Walters at his best now look at the control here from Walters taking on White now that for my money was a foul McCoy's to Walters Walters now facing McCarthy getting in a fine cross Judging the fight well, Earl Brown. Making in trouble is Ali McCoy. Down he goes this time, but Walters! Mark Walters makes it five! And the day worsens for Celtic. A dreadful error this time by the captain Roy Aiken some very intelligent refereeing resisting the temptation to blow for a penalty kick to allow the advantage rule and here's Aiken in a fankel McCoy is driving into the box under pressure now from Aiken foul there the referee allowing play to continue Walters following up and there's the fifth goal for Rangers